All right, YouTube, what I got here now is uh, I'm going to do a quick video on the Apache 1800 Rugged Mobility uh, briefcase. I bought this briefcase because I have a, a camera. I got a Nikon D3200, and I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, I don't want my camera to get damaged. I got a pretty good deal on it. When I travel, I don't want to really have to worry about uh, compromising space and security of the camera. So I wanted something more rugged that I could just pack up and know it's in the car and not have to, you know, watch where I put it at or where I put it in the seat or under something or, you know, get sat on or squished. So the cameras aren't cheap. So I went to Harbor Freight. And uh, I got this coupon in the mail, or online, excuse me, for an ultra crush proof, weather resistant, locker proof uh, case. And uh, I've seen it before, it's usually about $15, $20, $25, somewhere around there. So I decided to go take a chance on it. I read the reviews, they said it was pretty rugged. So upon opening it up, I noticed that this particular case, if I flip it around, um, it's built pretty solid. Uh, everything they said it was going to be, it actually is. It's got a hard case. It also has a screw here. I guess that's to let the uh, purge the air out when you try to open it or something. I have to read up to read up on that a little bit later. It's got a little bit of uh, directions here and whatnot. So let's open it up. Um, I've already got it set up on the inside. I actually didn't, uh, I got it set up on the inside already. Uh, so I wanted to tell you guys how I felt about it afterwards. So what I did, it came like this basically. All the foam was inside, basically sitting like this. If you look at the foam, the foam has little squares that you can pull, a, pull apart, if you will and basically conform this to whatever you're going to be putting in there. It even has a, I have another case, I hate to draw away from this one, but my other camera actually was going in here and just sitting there just like this, the one that I'm holding now, uh, the JVC uh, GM series HD camera. And uh, So I do have some extra foam that I can use as well sit in that case but anyway let's get back to this um, I made a compartment here that uh, basically I, and I, I put the uh, lens on this side and I have a compartmentalized the lens by itself then I have the camera and I took those blocks and I built it all the way around the uh, camera um, there's not room to put it right there, but that's, that's fine. Then you got this nice little case here, so I believe that it's going to work just fine and keep the camera safe. The only thing I'm not happy about is if I had spent a little bit more money, I guess, I could have got a bigger case because what am I going to do with the charger now? I like to keep things together and bring at least one battery charger with me wherever I go. And, uh, this case has no room, this case has no room to put the battery charger. So the only thing, I, the only downside to this I would say is you still have to either charge the battery up uh, before you go on your mission or whatever, or put it, put this in your pocket and just bring it with you, your charger. Or, or, or even if you have, I guess you can throw the battery in here, it's small enough I could probably make room to put the battery somewhere and just have two charged batteries with me but I, I, I still would rather have the charger around um, just in case I got some long video I gotta record or a lot of uh, pictures to take but other than that I give it about a seven um, if you want something to hold the battery and everything that you have maybe another lens um, I did see that they have a bigger uh, case, but that's going to run you a little bit more money. And uh, 
it's not gonna be $9.99. But for 10 bucks, I give this uh, I give this um, Apache 1800 weatherproof, dustproof, impact resistant. Um, I give it about a seven. I like it pretty pretty good. That's pretty good. And also, I'd like to point out it has a rubber gasket all the way around it. Now, I wouldn't want to drop this in water and find out if it's going to be uh, waterproof. But I guess if you're out there at a cookout or something and uh, you, you go camping and you come back to the uh, your picnic table and it's, everything's rain, rained out, you know, your camera will be uh, still uh, in good shape. So, that's it. And uh, subscribe below. And I'm out.